Keeping children safe and well is a shared community responsibility. It's one of the most important things we can do in working together to ensure that every child is in a healthy environment. As professionals who work with children and youth, you're probably already aware of your duty to report. However, CAS knows that there are reasons why you may be concerned about calling and situations where it's not always obvious what you should do. To help, we've made this video. It's a learning tool that provides various situations and scenarios for you to consider the context and then respond interactively. We know there's more than one way to respond to each situation. However, in each scenario, we've built in learning points to help you better understand how we can best work together. Let's begin. Scenario 1 An 11-year-old child is brought to the hospital and needs x-rays. When the physician receives the report, it indicates new and old healing fractures that don't exactly line up with what the parents say caused the injury. What should the physician do? Discuss the findings with the child and family, call CAS to report her concerns, call the hospital social worker, ask the nurse to report concerns to CAS. Learning point one. If you have a concern, it's very important that you call CAS and not have someone else make the call for you. When you call, you will speak to a child protection worker called a screener and will be asked questions so the screener can decide how best to help. Scenario two. A grade seven teacher is worried about one of his students. Normally outgoing and happy, she's becoming increasingly withdrawn and has been getting into more and more trouble during class. The student has confided that there are some troubles at home. The teacher has previously met with her parents, the school's social worker, the principal, and has even called CAS about his concerns. With the student's behavior escalating, he wonders if he should call CAS again, even though he has never received any additional information from CAS. What should the teacher do? Speak to the parents again? Speak to the school's social worker again? Call CAS again to report his ongoing concern for his student? Speak to the principal again. Learning point two. New concerns about a child should always be reported, even if you have called CAS previously. While one call may not always result in CAS involvement, different calls about the same children or family allow us to identify patterns of concern. We understand that you may be frustrated or want additional details. However, CAS's work with families is confidential, and this means we can't tell you whether we are working with a family or not. Scenario three. A patient who is new to Canada goes to a walk-in clinic with visible bruising on her face. The nurse asks her what happened, and the patient shares that, at times, her spouse yells and hits her when he's angry, but has never harmed the children. The nurse is concerned that the parent's conflict may have an impact on the children's emotional health and safety, but is worried if he says something, the children may be separated from their mother. What should the nurse do? Tell the attending physician about his concerns. Provide the patient with a list of community domestic violence and support programs. Call CAS to report his concerns. Learning point three. Professionals have a duty to report their concerns about the safety and well-being of a child to CAS. 90% of the work done by CAS is done with families in their homes. CAS helps to connect families to support services within the community and to support children remaining with their family. If a family needs ongoing support, CAS will continue working with them and provide services that are respectful and culturally appropriate. Scenario 4 A coach of a high school basketball team is concerned about one of his players who has been couch surfing, wearing the same clothes to practice, and is withdrawn. The coach knows that there has been some trouble at home. He speaks with the youth, and the youth asks for help. 
What should the coach do? Call CAS to share his concerns about the youth. Ask to speak to his parents. Speak with the school principal. Learning point four. While it is not mandatory for professionals to report a concern for youth who are 16 and 17 years old, the coach should call CAS to share his concerns. CAS workers are able to provide support services to 16 and 17 year olds to ensure their safety and well-being. Scenario five. EMS workers enter a home when responding to an emergency call about a suspected drug overdose. While in the home, they notice it is cluttered, garbage is overflowing, a young child is playing alone in the kitchen where there's a boiling pot on the stove and a very young baby is sleeping on a bed surrounded by laundry, loose pillows and blankets. After the emergency is taken care of, is there anything else the EMS worker should do? No, they are first responders and have taken care of the emergency situation. Yes. Call CAS to report their concerns about the safety and well-being of the children in the home. Learning point five. Child abuse and neglect aren't always obvious. Sometimes the nature of your profession, such as an EMS worker, will mean you see or hear things that make you feel that a family may need help. Calling CAS if you're concerned about the well-being or safety of a child is always the right thing to do. Scenario 6. An after-school teacher is concerned about one of her grade 2 students. He's normally picked up by his dad, who is very outgoing, and she's come to know him quite well. However, the teacher notices when her student's mother picks him up, he tends to act out, and when he takes too long to get his things together, his mom gets aggressive towards him. She calls him names and humiliates him in front of the other students, staff, and parents. The teacher is uneasy, but not sure what to do. Should she speak to her manager supervisor about the situation? Call CAS to share her concerns? Wait and speak to the dad the next time he picks up his son. Learning point six. It can be a hard decision to call CAS when you have a relationship with a family, especially if you're unsure if your concern is valid. You do not need proof to make the call. The safety and well-being of children always come first. We hope this video, with its scenarios and learning points, can be a helpful resource for you and your colleagues. At CAS, the goal is to work with families in building healthy and safe environments for children. As professionals who work with children and youth, you can help us. Remember, make the call. It's the first step in protecting children who may need help. For more information and additional resources, visit our site, peelcas.org, or call 905-363-6131.